you have an organism interacting with another species, another organism, and then one of them dies off, one of them goes extinct. And whatever those traits or features that were evolved uh, to coexist with that species, that persists in the living species. If you've ever spent time in the woods of Michigan, chances are you've seen these. The honey locust seed pod. These long curly seed pods have been found preserved in the stomachs of mastodons, leading scientists to believe they were a popular food for these giant elephant-like creatures. They would digest the sweet pods and the seeds would pass through, landing in new locations. It's thought that the trees used the mastodons as one of the main distributors of their seeds. The mastodons liked the food so much, they would push down the trees to get at the pods in their top branches before they were ready to fall. Over time, the trees developed a defense. Rudyard Sadler is an evolutionary biologist. It's developed features such as the thorns on it that were uh, hypothesized to be something to protect the tree, protect its leaves, protect its foliage, protect its bark from large megafaunal mammals. And the, you know, the, some of the largest that walk the earth, and especially in Michigan, are going to be a lot of those mammoths and mastodons. The spikes on the honey locust go up to 18 feet and then they stop and there's no more spikes beyond that. And that is what they think is about the maximum reach of a mastodon, which is about 18 feet. You're absolutely right. Yeah. So it's unfortunately, we can't really do solid experimentation. I mean, that'd be ridiculous to try and go, you know, let's, let's resurrect a mammoth to test this hypothesis. But there are a lot of features in a lot of these different species that we can see and that leads us to try and come up with the best hypothesized explanation for that feature. And it's there every day. Uh, we just got to pause, take a deep breath and, and see it uh, through a new light to understand it. And that's the role scientists believe these oversized thorns played, protecting the honey locust from hungry mastodons. We may not see mastodons roaming Michigan anytime soon, but we can see the trees they shaped while they were here. So the next time you're in the woods, Take a second to look around. You may just find yourself face to face with a prehistoric mastodon poking weapon of nature. For 9 and 10 News, I'm Coulter Stewart.